kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Okay. Oh. A what? Very. Very. <laughs> Black <bird>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Frick, you're weird. <laughs> Just like your dad. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Anyways. It's quite a long while after the uh, <clears throat> first bit there where you've seen the uh, paint going on. We did a lot yesterday and I never videoed any of it because, you know, I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> anyway, so we've got their steps on. We had to do a little bit of customification <clears throat> because of their loader mount here. This is supposed to be up against. So we've had to put a spacer. And it's kind of at an angle because this was up against the pocket for the loader arm otherwise. And this handle is supposed to be bolted down here, but it hit, so I just put it one up. But I mean, it still works the same. Um, put some grip tape on here. Looks real nice. New seal. Everything's all painted. I didn't take tape off of that yet. Put the uh, dash wrap in. Oh, a little bit of an updated thing looks a bit nicer. Everything is painted in here. That had to get painted. And then I put the new stickers on. Um. And then after this, we're gonna do the uh, cab kit, but pop this one in the windows open so we can get the tape off that's wrapped around them here. But yeah, that's kind of uh, oh, yeah. the going ons that have been happening here, anyways. So I guess we'll keep uh, Look at the plugging away here and we'll. The, the, the kids are uh, getting masked and ready for paint. Oh yeah, keep the COVID out even. Keep the COVID out of your nose. <laughs> Sophia's keeping it out of her ear. <laughs> and it's converted over to 212 volt batteries, but we're going to be doing the same thing on my 4440. I'll make a, a video of uh, how you do that, because I know that's a pretty commonly asked thing. So, But yeah, talk to you in a few, I guess. Going? Yep. Yeah. Got to show them the nice... Turn the flashlight on, on. Might see better. There, now you gotta give that a second. And you try to remember which is the right way to put it in there. Because once you put it down, it's game over.
Taking all of it off. Good boy. There. Slowly getting her put together. When I get a little bit further here, I'll show you some more. Okay, so this new cup holder that I'm putting in here, like what the 50 series has, I think is where that comes from, but whatever, either way, it has a little light in it, kind of like your red one up there that illuminates this. Well, this red light will shine and illuminate everything a lot better. You know, some of you have asked in the, uh, that's what I've got in the 4640 and the 4440. And some of you have asked where I'm getting power from to run it. These wires here run your lights and everything on the outside of the cab. So there's a power and a ground right here. I just kind of cheat, strip it back, wrap it around, and then uh, black tape the shit out of it. And then when you turn your lights on, it comes on that way. That's the easiest thing I've found anyways, instead of having to run a bunch of new wires and everything else, so. Anyway, figured while I had that apart, I'd show you real quick. Oh boy. Quite a bit of time has passed. Look at that. All the parts but the headliner are in. Had to cut out the holes for the speakers yet, and then uh, it'll be ready to go in. I have got everything else done though. Boy, I like that brown. Brindle brown, they call that. <laughs> this is my worst spot here. The couple wrinkles, but I mean, I think it's pretty good. If he doesn't like it, I'll just keep the tractor then. <laughs> ah, anyway, it's all wired up. Nice! Um, yeah, Rob is on his way over to wire up the radio, because like, uh, you know, he's a lot better at that than I am, so he's going to do that. Um, yeah, I was just, oh, I better not sit down, I won't be able to get going again. <laughs> I was just in the process of making these plugs, just strip foam, but they have these, uh, holes in the back of these cabs here for access to those bolts. Not exactly sure what they do. Presumably hold things together. <laughs> but uh, they come from the factory with nothing in them or they just rot out over time, whatever they had. But that was plugged right solid with dirt in there. So I got that all cleaned out. And now uh, we just put this strip foam in to plug the holes and you'll never see that because the uh, hazard sign goes back here so oh yeah that's the other thing too they have a uh, hydraulic swing on their auger and they had had a rope ran in to the remote so they could run it from outside here to swing it in and out from under their semi so instead of having a rope in there that wreck this and all the shit in the cab we made them this little lever here so you can just run it from outside here. Isn't that nice? So, that's what we made there for them anyway. It's almost too long is the only problem, but it works though. A lot better than a uh, rope up into the cab, so yeah. Hopefully they're good with that anyway, and then this is the old boy who owned it before them, his plug-in for hazard lights on his baler and the uh, hay wagon, so. Anyway, I think she's coming along really nice and looking real good, so I'm gonna keep plugging away here and we'll talk to you presumably when there's a headliner and a radio in it. Da-da. Da-da, da-da. da Fuck, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna break your phone. You keep you, that up. How are you doing up there? Not so bad. Not so bad. The wires. Pulling my wire. 
Look at that, he's already, holy fuck, that's deadly. <laughs> Trying out the cup holder. <laughs> Shit, deal. Real nice. I took my blue in there and it's already cold. Real dead, dead. Deadly. <laughs> This thing's gonna have a rock and sound system. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, it's gonna bring all the town girls. We listen to the bingo on Friday. Uh, it's the RCMP's always chasing me. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> Why is it so hard to take out? Oh, oh no, it's still going. Look! It's Twan again. <laughs> Everyone gets depressed when you're not around, Twan. I'm not good enough for them. They're only here to see you, apparently. You feel special? Yes. Fuck, you're balding, Twan. Yep. Twan. You're balding. There's a big fucking note up a little more. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, we'll let Tuan put his four bolts in and then we'll uh, take a look at the interior. It's just about all done, so seeing a few. Nice! Nice! Look at this, what else is nice? Oh, nice. Good idea. Nice. I know I had a, once in a while I have good ideas. <laughs> anyway, I think the old vidge is long enough here, so. Since this is basically done in here now. What I have left is the uh, vent that goes, the new style vent goes in here. But I gotta do some trimming to make things fit. This is, uh, see the issue there? <laughs> right there. So take a little bit off and should be laughing, but. Isn't that nice? So, this is pretty well complete now. We gotta put the joystick in yet, but that'll be in the, the next one. That's Kiki's birthday today, so he's sick of being in here, so we're gonna go do something else for a bit. <laughs> so, oh yeah, radio. Nice. I guess then. Probably where I'm gonna leave you for now. So, thank you much for watching. See the end of this project, make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment down below, cause I like that. And we'll talk to all you in the next one. <laughs>